How much was the ring? 886. Oh, I'm not proud my God. of it. What is it? What's it made of? I don't know. What's it? Okay. Oh. Welcome to Wine About It. Welcome to Wine About It, everybody. It's nice and late, and Cutie's getting drunk. No, it's sparkling water. I don't like sparkling water. I only like this sparkling water. It's liquid dead. Ba -da -da -da. Cool. Dude, I I told you this on the phone today. I slept wrong and I hurt my neck in my sleep and it is killing me. Like, it's been hurting all day and it hurts now and it's really pissing me off. You should use the Theragun. I cannot look past... Like, I couldn't look right at all for the first, like, four or five hours of my day. Audio listeners, she's complaining again. <laughs> God, it actually hurts so bad. It's so cringe. That sucks. Yeah, You should put a, a bunch of actually. rice in a sock and then put the sock on your neck. Well, you're supposed to microwave it first. Okay. <laughs> Cooked rice. Then it's a... No, 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 no. Cooked no. rice. Sticky rice. No. Raw rice in a sock, yum, microwave yum. it, 10 minutes, put it, no, not 10 minutes, three minutes, put it on your neck. Warm. Uh, it's a heating pad. I'm going to take a muscle relaxer, but I didn't want to take it before the podcast because it would make me sleepy and crazy. Why do you have muscle relaxers? Because my back. Oh, right, right, right. Wait, mom. Oh, boy, I'm yawning. The podcast just started. That's so bad. Such a bad sign. Oh, no. I mean, too. Sorry, I take Klonopin now. I'm one of those. She takes Klonopin. I take muscle relaxers. She's in LA. I'm back in Austin. I got back yesterday at 3 a.m. If you wanted to see uh, an episode of us together in person, it went on the Patreon as well as a bunch of other bonus content from our weekend. Yeah, we did a together. bunch of we did a bunch of uh, videos and stuff on Patreon this weekend. It didn't it even feel fun. like a weekend. It felt like two minutes. That is true. Okay, it did not feel like a very long time. Um, do you want to hear how I got scammed today? Yes. Do you like this ring I'm wearing? Yeah. How much would you pay for it? Is there a stone on it or is it empty? There's a, a little opal little thing. Stone. I would pay seventy dollars for it. You're gonna be so disappointed with me. Two hundred. Three hundred. I got. Dude, I'm not even exaggerating. So I like, so, okay. So I've been doing this thing recently in an effort to ground myself where I'll like ride a scooter somewhere and then just like walk the streets and pretend that it's safe in LA. Um, and I uh, was walking to try to go to a boutique to get little presents for like Box Box Leslie and Myung from Streamer Camp. And I walk into this little boutique it's stupid as hell. It's one of those boutiques that's just like... LA boutique. Nobody needs any of that shit. Like, nobody. I had I went to some crazy ones in Venice Beach that made no sense. Yeah, actually, I don't know I how they show make you. money. I want to show you. Because they were actually so cringe. They, I went to this one where you couldn't... They didn't have very many clothes out or things out. They had, like, mood boards on the wall. And then you had to scan a QR code and they would bring you stuff from the back. How stupid is that? That's so this. weird. It's like a little mood board and then underneath there are QR codes. And I get, you like scan them and then they bring you stuff. Isn't that the most... Isn't that the craziest thing I've ever heard? That is so stupid. Also, I got... This was my first meal in LA. It was like $7. Broccoli? Yeah, it's just broccoli. It's broccolini. Wow. Yum. <laughs> That's really impressive. Um, I also found a bunch of chickens and this sign next to their coop. This is, oh, in this garden, we believe black lives matter, women's rights are human rights. No human is illegal. Science is real. Love is love. Kindness. Wow. Is everything. Those chickens are, they're really progressive. Those chickens are woke dude yeah it's actually really cool no one's talking about the woke chickens in venice they're really not okay sorry so you went to a little a little so cringe I'm in boutique. This boutique 
and okay. no leaks. No one tell me on Box Box or Fusley. But I, I got them like stupid little chocolate. I got them stupid little writing books and pens. Cause it's just like one of those boutiques that has like mm-hmm. catch all plates, like ceramic, like s- cleansing candles. Like I was like, oh, whatever. This is fun. Cute. Here's some socks. Like just a little goodie bag. Right. Yeah. Um, and of course, all of that's overpriced. But I'm like, that's fine. Like support small businesses. Sure. Whatever. Like budgeting for myself, like I'm going to spend $200 on these goodie bags. That's where my brain was. And that's what I wanted to spend. And then I've had this thing for a while where I used to wear a lot of rings like you do. I used to wear a ton. And then I just stopped. And I'm like, I kind of want to do that again because it makes your fingers feel pretty. Yeah. Um, And so. So I look in the thing and they have this ring and I'm like, ooh, and I said, I want that. And I am not thinking it's going to be so expensive and there's no price tags on freaking anything. Right. And she's like, OK, great. And uh, she scans it all up and she goes, your total is one thousand two hundred dollars. How much was the ring? Eight hundred and eighty six. Show it again. It's not worth it. Why didn't did you just tell her like you didn't want to say like hey never mind on the ring? My social anxiety. Cause she had like talked it up and like packed it up for me and talked about like how I was supporting local business and how meaningful it was to the artist that I was buying this ring. And I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. assuming it was like 70, maybe a hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh I'm not proud my God. of it. What is it? What's it made of? I don't know. It? Oh my it's God. not even straight line. It's like, what? that's an artistic thing. Yeah, I kind of, I have some of those too. Wow. That's yeah. unreal. I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's okay. It's beautiful. Yeah. I hope you really Thank like you. it a lot. I don't <laughs> like it that much. Okay, well, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Sorry. But you know what? I have it now, I guess, and I have it now, and I surely won't lose it. Just never take it off. I never take any of these off. Even when you shower? Never. Really? I used to at least take mine off when I shower. These are I all sterling silver. Them. These are all um like 14 karat gold plated. Who knows? So you just don't have to is. take them off. It better it, it is definitely you don't have to take it off. <laughs> Hope to shower or wash your hands. Just don't take it off ever. Just don't take it off. I only take mine off when I'm working with like clay or like food with my hands. Well, 90% of the time I'm decorating cakes. Not 90% of the time, but like. <laughs> That's 90% of your life, actually. <laughs> 90% of my life is decorating cakes. <laughs> You're just constantly decorating. Um, that sucks. And that's a huge scam. I'm really sorry. Um, it's okay. You would have had the balls to be like, oh, never mind. I would have been like. I probably would have been accidentally rude because if if I saw yeah. how much the ring was, I would have been like, the ring's 800 or something like that. And if she was like, yeah, I'd be like, oh, never mind. Like, can't do that. I didn't. I didn't. I just didn't. I simply. I'm lucky that I am wealthy enough that I could support a local artist <laughs> in that way. That you're wealthy enough to have, or that your social anxiety is not actually ruining your life today. Uh, That's scary. That's really bad. Yeah, it's pretty, though. I Mm. like having rings a lot. It's it's important for my hands, I think. Anyway, that's how I got... Come on. This ring um, was swallowed by my emu. Stupid-ass emu. She... He swallowed it, and then... He got an endoscopy. They put a little camera down his throat and they fished it out. And then they brought it back to me in a little hazard container. <laughs> Thank you. And then I cleaned it and put it back on. I was <laughs> catching such strays at the craft store today. It was insane. Why? Because I run to the craft store and I forgot that like Swifties are Swifties, right? Yeah. Um, maybe I need, let me try turning the light on. Here, actually, will you distract for a second? It seems, it seems like I'm in a like um. What's that? Those videos where they're trying to get money, ransom video. <laughs> like I'm kidnapped in a basement. Maybe somewhere. like a little. I don't think it. I don't think they have 
attack, but oh. yeah, I'll distract. Um, I'll give you guys a ring tour while she's gone. Ring number one. It's a um infinity ring. It has sisters engraved in the middle because me and my sister have it. Ring number two. My mom got me this. Um, and she put a little note in it that said she would be with me for the ups and downs. <laughs> See, because it goes up and down. Uh, number three, Stompy's snack. That's what I call this one. Uh, the emu ate it. She was a baby. This is from Okinawa, which is where my dad is from. My grandparents live. Where, where's the thing? Look. I don't know if you can see it. That's like a super traditional. Oh, you can barely tell. It's a super traditional, like, Okinawa symbol. We're doing a ring tour. These are from ring my tour. boyfriend. This is from my... No, I bought this for myself, actually. I was getting hit by strays at the craft store today. Right. So, I'm trying... Taylor Swift concert tomorrow. It's her last show in LA. And I'm trying to tailgate or tailorgate. Get yeah, one. Don't, don't make that face. That's nice. Audio listeners, she made a stupid ass face. Piss me off. That's nice. I like that. Shut up. You loved making bracelets. I love making bra- I'm not cringing at the fact that you tailgated a Taylor concert. I'm cringing because you called it a Taylor gate. Taylor gate. And that's- yeah, okay. Continue. Um, anyway. And I'm going to set up a table and I'm going to have all these bracelet making supplies and people are going to make bracelets. It's going to be cute. But I didn't want the Swifties to use my expensive beads. And mm-hmm. so I was like, I'll go to the craft store. I'll get cheaper beads. LOL. Joke's on me. I forgot all the Swifties in LA are going to the craft store. So I go to Michael's. They've got nothing. They don't have a thing. And I'm like, that's fine. I'll stop at Joanne's. I stop at Joanne's. I go in there, I get some stuff. None of it is good, mind you. It is all bad. My bracelet bar, I'm going to have to sacrifice some of my good beads. I'm kind of sad about it, but whatever. You got to do what you got to do. Anyway, she has I'm in so there. many beads for the record. Like, what? so many beads. Yeah, but I, I think I want to make. Hear me out. Wait, look, I see. I want to make, because EU people, Taylor's going on tour for a while and think. Some people want to trade bracelets, but they don't want to make them. And so I want to make really nice tailor themed bracelets and sell them on our Etsy, which we are definitely, totally going to make. Definitely, totally going to make. I have totally, a lot of ideas. Definitely going to make an Etsy. Mm-hmm. And then I can make bracelets because have actually, I already made it. I think you made one. I, I just did don't think there's anything one. on it. I did make one and then I don't know what happened. I don't, I okay. stopped reading all the instructions. Oh, but shit. I made one. I made one so we wouldn't lose our name. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna make. I'm gonna go through each album. I'm gonna make really pretty bracelets. I'm gonna put them on the Etsy. I don't know. What do you like? Five dollars each. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a five dollar freaking bracelet. As long as it covers the cost of shipping and supplies, and nothing else. So it might be more than that. <laughs> uh oh. Well, unless they pay, do they pay? They, they pay, pay for, for shipping. shipping. Yeah, right. They have to pay for shipping. Uh, five dollar bracelet, and it'll be pretty, and I'll make pretty ones because, um, oh my gosh, Coots is so cute right now. What the heck? I got distracted by my own cat. Coots so looks cute. like a goldfish. Coots, come here, Coots. And when I say that, I don't mean that Coots looks like a fish. I mean Coots looks like her head is in a goldfish bowl. She just stupid. Like she's a fish, but it's just like boink. she's stupid. like she's distorted. She's stupid. all the time. Her head is so round. Um. Anyway, she's cute. She's laying on a blanket right now. Um. Anyway, I want to do that because my therapist one a grounding technique is crafting. Love crafting. We love and crafting. I love crafting, and I love Taylor Swift, and I love bracelets, and I love my beads. So I was like, you know what? I'll do it. Totally. For sure. For sure. Putting on the Etsy for sure. For real. This time for real. Yay. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, I'll make. Sorry, my goal is to make like 20 of them. Put them on the Etsy and then go from there. Oh my but God. That's a lot. It, okay. But I love it. You've got to chill over there. You've really got to chill. I would love to. I really would love to. Count to 10. Maya, stop. 
<laughs> Audio listeners, she's a freaking menace. I'm not doing that on purpose. Did you think I did that? No. Why is it doing that? This I, is a professional it's off my desk. Up, upgrade your it's setup. It's sliding off my desk. What is wrong with your setup? It's my mic arm is fucked and it doesn't fit on this desk. So it's, it's dropped onto my PC Hello, it's over my listeners. desk. Hello, listeners. Please, today, in the arms of... Donate your money to the angel to oh, save this stupid-ass girl's setup. Your Patreon sub right now no, will go directly towards her dumb-ass no, computer that she doesn't know how to set up. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. You. Amen. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, I go what? get stupid beads at joanne's all right yes and there's nothing good they're all ugly but cowgirls make do so i go and i start collecting stuff okay. and and i'm finding weird beads they're not good i i repeat they are not good the bracelet bar i'm gonna have to use my beads and i'm kind of sad about it uh you know you grew up poor when you don't like using your nice things yeah i don't like giving them away even though that's the point um whatever so i'm gonna have to do it Anyway, I'm checking out. I have this miscellaneous handful of just shit. It's all shit. None of it's good. And um, the the lady at the checkout, I pretend because I am feeling embarrassed and cringe. She's like, what's all this for? And I was like, I oh, me that. I, I lied. Sorry. I'm coming clean right now. Girl Scout honor. Boy Scout honor. I'm coming clean for Hail Marys. I lied because I was embarrassed. And I said, I'm taking my nieces to the Taylor Swift concert. Sad. And it's a good thing I lied for the record based on what she's about to say. I said, I'm taking my nieces to Taylor Swift concert and I'm in charge of getting the beads and you guys are clean out. And she's like, oh, I know all these Swifties keep coming in. They think I listen to the dumb broad. I was like, oh, oh, and she's like. People are mad at me. I don't make beads. I don't even listen to the broad. She called her a broad like 12 times. I'm not kidding you. And I was like, uh -huh. I haven't heard of anybody use that seriously ever. No, she was serious and she was mad. And I was like, oh, uh -huh. it's fun. That's and she's so like, weird. she's like, yeah, Swifty the other day was like, if you don't listen to Taylor Swift, who do you listen to? And I was like, I listen to good music. I listen to the classics. And she was like, you know, the last concert I went to and she looks at me and she looks at the lady at the other cash register. And she's like, you know, you want to ask? And I was like, yeah, well, that's the last concert you went to. And she was like, Fleetwood Mac. That's some real talent. And I was like, okay. Like, I like Fleetwood Mac, but they haven't sold out 148 stadiums. I think there's that a is, difference here. That's so cringe. I hate when people are like that about music. I hate it. Me too. And Actually. I was like, I was like, oh, I love, I love Fleetwood Mac. They're a classic. And he goes, she goes, you know, you know what I, who I saw before Fleetwood Mac, the concert before Fleetwood Mac. And I was like, you know, who? And she was like, 311. And I was like, wow, you've got really great taste in music. And she's like, so she's like, and all these, all these dumb little girls coming in here, going to that broads concerts. I don't even like her music. I don't even like what she stands for. And I was kind of like, you don't like what, what she stands for feminism and yeah, what do you not like women <laughs> being an ally like i don't I'm confused. like okay don't like i was like ah, ha, 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 ha. okay wow. <laughs> yeah she was being aggro but what then since i was being a, a yes man and i was hyping her up I was and like, you're like yeah i hate women too i hate I was like, gay oh people God, too <laughs> the gays they're a problem it's not me that was a terrible um, clip we just made that that was bad she gave me she gave me like 40% off and I was like, you know what? Pays to hate Taylor Swift. Oh, nice. That's a, that's a lot off. That's really good. I know. Because nice. I had coupons on my phone, but I only had a 20% off one. Wow. She killed it. I wish I could make you feel my neck right now because I think it would really freak you out. Is it all just stiff? Dude, it's like totally, totally like squishy back here and like there's nothing there. And there is, it genuinely feels like a bone. Like the size have of not so bad. half a golf ball. Like right here. It's actually kind of freaking me out. Like it feels like there's a bone sticking out. But you don't get massages. No, I don't like when people touch me. It's it would also help why I don't you. do yoga. But I don't like when they're like... Hey, you wouldn't me. go to a trauma-informed yoga retreat with me? I would go with you. But I don't think I should. Ah! I think you should go alone. 
I don't want to go alone. It's scary. Oh. <laughs> well, I would go with you, but I I feel like you have I don't to do think yoga. I you also have trauma you could work on. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Sorry. I, I would go if you wanted me to life. go. I just I just it seems like something For the you record, do on your own. I haven't found one yet, but I would like to go to a trauma informed therapy no trauma informed yoga retreat yeah so she can do yoga and they can i'm trying to heal myself her. they don't touch you you can opt out of adjustments especially trauma informed i don't even think they oh, do adjustments because sure. they know yeah. that you're like probably like, do not touch up. me <laughs> yeah <laughs> I have a breakdown in there yeah that's true that's fair i went to yoga in college and i stopped because you know what maybe i had a creepy instructor I haven't really thought about that because I, I went yeah. in college and I they said at the beginning, they're like, raise your hand if you don't want to be adjusted. So I raised my hand because like, I don't like when people touch me. Um, and they just kept adjusting me, kept doing it, would not stop. And I was like, yeah, I'm never weird. doing that again. That's not yeah. normal. Oh, well, yeah, it was cringe. Now, yeah, like, what can I say? And yoga is also really hard. Like, yeah, I get really tired. Well, not but on I'm our also retreat. sick of getting hurt. What are you going to do when we hit our Patreon thing and you have to come back and we get to go to Legoland? Uh, come back and go to Legoland. <laughs> but that's Hell not yeah. actually a set goal on Patreon. We need to, like, put it there. We can't. I think we, we got rid of them. What? We said it out loud. So it's a verbal agreement that it's, what, 8,000 yeah. subs that yeah. we go to Legoland? Yeah. Okay. Legoland. Legoland. We can go to Legoland. It's going to be a good time. I don't uh, know how to navigate to that park. Me neither. Cutie and I went to Disneyland. I don't know if you saw that. If you're on the Patreon, then you've already heard about that. Uh, or you saw clips from it. We're we going to talk about there. it more, though, because the YouTubers deserve it. We, more fun there stories. Was a, there was a clip that we put on Patreon of us riding a roller coaster. I did not like it. We yeah, did. I don't know why you kept going on him. What do you mean? Because. I, I kept telling you you didn't have to. But you were going on them. Yeah. <laughs> so like I go on them. <laughs> the only one I, we did not go on was California Screaming or whatever they call it now. Incredicoaster. Incredicoaster. Yeah, there was no world I was going on. I don't go on Incredicoaster. I don't go on uh Tower of Terror or mm. Guardians of the Galaxy is what it's called now. We did sixteen rides in nine hours. Can you believe that? No. And we sat down and ate dinner. <laughs> yeah, we sat at a restaurant. I did so good navigating the park. It was insane. Yeah, it was, it actually, was actually insane. insane. Oh. oh. <laughs> My favorite ride was Cars. It was so good. If I was a child, I would be losing my mind at that ride because I've watched the movies and you go in it and it feels like you're in the movie. It's amazing. Amazing. Um, and my least favorite ride was Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, because you're bad at it. Yeah, I think my th was rigged. I will say sometimes that does happen. Sometimes the guns are not good. Yeah, I think it was rigged because how, how? I got, my score was 8,600. Cutie's score was 300,000 and her high score is 1 million. <laughs> I got 8,600. Yeah, I don't know how she did that. I was trying. I really was. I didn't put the gun down at all. I really was trying the whole time. Do you know what to shoot at? Yes. Like the targets? Yes. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know. It's just because really I know well. to shoot at the targets. I mean, my nieces and nephews beat you. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It really pissed me off. I uh I um tell I told you I wanted to tell you the full story. So I told you the story of Pirates of the Caribbean. For those of you who don't know, um Parts of the Caribbean opened in 1967. Uh, and for, for the summer, record, I had no idea that the movie was based off the ride. Yeah, she had no clue. I thought that the ride was based off the movie. She thought the movie came first, the ride came second. I've also haven't seen the movie. You should watch it. I want to watch it. I want to watch. Uh, I've only ever watched the first one. The first one is one of my favorite movies of all time. I want to watch uh, because um will turner aka orlando bloom is so wait what do you mean will turner aka orlando bloom 
spicy hot in it. He's so he was my first crush. As is a his child. real name Will Turner? No, he's Will Turner in the movie. Oh, Bootstrap Bill. I actually don't know what he looks like. I'm gonna find out. Orlando Bloom. You have yeah. to specifically look at Orlando Bloom. Orlando Bloom. Will Turner. Will Turner. Images. Images. Oh my god, he's so hot. He's like so attractive. With the, the long hair. I just, everything about him. I just love him. I love him so much. And him as Legolas. Him as Legolas, also amazing. Legless? Yeah. Does he not have legs? No. <laughs> Wait, have you never seen? Wait, 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 wait like a wait, Lego wait, list. Wait, 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 wait. I searched wait. legless Orlando. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get any crazy edits, but I thought he was like I probably played like a amputee or something. Lego list, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Le Orlando Bloom plays an amputee, and I've never been more attracted to him in my life. <laughs> okay, I don't, I mean, it's not his body that you're attracted to, right? It's oh, it face. is. Oh. It's all of him. Wait, this is not, this is not the it's same person. Else. This isn't oh, the same person. Oh, it is. Are you sure? He's so hot. <laughs> this is not hot. I don't know what uh... to tell you. This is, oh wait, I've seen this movie. What? Legolas? <laughs> Lord of the You've Rings. seen Lord of the Rings? <laughs> yeah. I just, I just saw it for the first time. Like, recently. That's... What do you, you think? It was fine. It was Did good. you watch all of them, or just one? I don't know. Space. Did, it, it was, we watched two of them. The Alvea staff watched them. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, I don't like him as legless. Why? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he looks uh uh i don't know he looks too clean and scary what oh ew no scary no no ew what? no mm, not for me dude no so i don't like i don't like i don't like it why like, i don't know i just i don't like he was my childhood crush i was so in love with him you want to see my childhood crush? And yeah. When I say childhood, I mean like college. Well, college doesn't count. I used to. I'm not even kidding you. What about what if it's current? He what? <laughs> what if it's also current? Is it just Mr. Peanut? <laughs> <laughs> You've moved on to Tomato. <laughs> Dude, don't call so him Tomato. <laughs> ta. ta Mater Toe was doing Mater. <laughs> Toe Mater was doing a meet and greet at yeah. the Cozy Cone Motel at California Adventure Adventure Ranger. <laughs> and California Adventure. Maya would not go say hi to him. I was too nervous. They were like pushing me. I was too scared. She was like, "What would I say?" And I was like, "Literally hi." <laughs> and it's crazy because no, he'll talk back. He'll be like, "Hi, I'm Toe Mater." Who's in there? A guy. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so cool. Yeah. I wish we went. I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> I regret not going. I took Why? some pictures of him, though. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Actually, the pictures she took of him on the ride are the funniest. <laughs> the funniest cursed pictures I've ever seen. <laughs> I, was, I was scream panicking. It might even, I was so excited. Don't even show it like this, Maya. Send it to space. He can put it on screen. That way it's better for <laughs> viewers at home. Okay. We're trying to we're trying to level up our production value. Yeah, you level up. Um, yeah, I was just really, I was just really excited. Okay, I don't know which group it is. What if I put this in the wrong one? Whine about it. What are you talking about? No, I know, but Discord Mobile is cringe. And so it, you know what? No, oh it's here. God, it's in the right one. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Anyway, I took those pictures, but I was like shaking because I was so excited and it was really dark. And so it did the thing where it like you need to hold it still for a long time. But I was like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'll send I'll send other pictures from the 
from the trip. From the Disney trip? From the Disney trip. I think I have a picture of us on the ride with our with our friend. The the number six that joined our group. Oh, he was so cool. I, have a I video kept of like Rob getting a hot dog. You wanna see? Really? I kept like um Maya, it's such a bad video. No, it's not. Why are you <laughs> why did you take that video of Erop getting a hot dog? That was so funny. <laughs> why? I love you, Rob. Um we we had an odd number group at Disneyland, so when we went on rides a couple times. Yeah, we freaking thought, Ludwig didn't come and so I was all alone. That is so funny. Um yeah, we got uh one one extra for a lot of rides because the rides want even numbers. Uh wait, and so, Space, and can you put those pictures on the thing? The tomato ones? Tomato. Holy moly. Holy moly. Yeah. I there he is. This is so good. <laughs> this is my picture. I was sitting next to Cutie and I was like screaming because I couldn't get a good picture and I couldn't unlock my phone. And then she'd like drop her phone and then we'd go <laughs> and then like I was like, don't worry, he's at the end. And at the end where you have ample time to take a picture, <laughs> this is the picture she takes. <laughs> and she's just They're screaming, good. like Argh! They're good. <laughs> so They're good. You can tell who it is. That's all that matters. Does he look hot to you there? I actually took another one and I won't even send it to space because it's like not where actually I'll send it to space. Yeah, there it is. Pretty good. There's her. That's when I was like, that's the first time that's the first picture I tried to take a tomator because I was really excited and I I like leaned over my boyfriend with my camera and I was like, he's so hot. And my boyfriend was like, <laughs> okay, distract for a second. I'm going to see if I can get access to her. Ow! In other distractions, other rides that I liked, uh, Mickey's Picnic in Toontown. Toontown. It was very yeah. cute. I liked the picnic. I Do liked... you like when he says the N word? He does not. It sounds just like it. Don't pretend like it. It doesn't. sounds a little bit like he says the N word, but he doesn't. He says so, Mickey. No, he says. Okay. Oh, I don't want to say it because I'm going to sound like I'm saying K E R S. Yes, he says like hey name. there, M I C K E R S, and it sounds just like the N word. And every single time I have ridden that ride, without fail, my car, like I'm in my car, I'm sitting there, and he says, "Oh, hey there," and <laughs> whatever. And the whole cart goes, huh? Because <laughs> it sounds... It's pretty bad. It I need to find bad. a video. If I find a video... Can... Sorry, we're, we're really up in production today. Um... Anyway, I liked Toontown. I liked, uh, I liked the picnic ride. Um, I liked It's a Small World. Um, I liked... I really like Pirates of the Caribbean. Will you put our picture up there from the ride? From Cars? <laughs> it's so sick. We had such a sick car. <laughs> my. what about our picture from space mountain or it wasn't space was it space mountain uh yeah i can get our picture from space mountain if you would like i can do it got it i'm sending it is there a picture from space mountain um i unfortunately couldn't really be a part of the picture <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, it sent weird. Sorry. Space Space, space Mountain was funny because like I get on the ride and I'm like, man, I hate this ride. And Maya's like, why are we riding it? Yeah, I don't know why either of us did that one. Honestly. Ow. Cutie would also warn me on all the rides when the scary things were happening, but it didn't really help. Oh. But My she bad. would tell me very specific. She was like, this ride has a seven foot drop and a 17 foot drop. <laughs> I was like, it's okay. 18 feet and seven feet is Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, it was really close. It was. It was really close. Um, let um, me find let me find that. I wanna find that. And we went on a Star Wars ride that had a ten foot drop. Whoop. Oh yeah, there we are. There we are in Space Mountain. So <laughs> sick. <laughs> so cool and fun. I love Space Mountain. You can see it. You can tell by my face how much I love Space Mountain. 
Wait one second. Look, there's our friend in the back. That's that's. He got in the car. This poor old man. Cutie goes. We just went from the cool five to the cool six, <laughs> and he was just like, <laughs> "I was like, be in our picture." <laughs> yeah, he did say that, and then he smiled for the picture. He did. He loved it. And then Cutie yelled at the kids in the car next to us when we were racing, and she was like, you're gonna lose so bad, you're so slow! And the guy behind us thought she was really toxic and competitive. Okay. I found the clip. Uh-oh. Okay. Play this for the folks, for the folks at home. <laughs> okay, we'll let you guys decide for yourselves in the comments. The comments in the audio. it's problematic. It is problematic. They need to change it. You know what they need to change is the dude hanging himself in the haunted mansion. That's what yeah, they need to we'll change. We'll talk about that. You don't have any other plans, but told you nothing was gonna go wrong. That was yeah. It's, that's actually worse than I remember. <laughs> yeah, I told you. That's it's worse so than I remember. Bad. It's really bad. <laughs> It's so bad. It's not okay. It's not okay. They've got to change it. Also, speaking of, in the Haunted Mansion, a lot of people don't do this, but at the end, like, so you get in the Haunted Mansion, you go in the stretching room. Uh, if you don't know what the Haunted Mansion is, it's this little ride through ride where it's like skewy, spooky, scary skeletons. Um, and it's supposed to be skewy. And you go in the stretching room that is an elevator that takes you down. And then at the end, he's like, oh, there's no escape, but you could use my escape. And then lightning flashes and you look at the ceiling and it's a man who has hung himself. Hung himself so clearly. It is yeah, he's, a he's rope and he's swinging. He's swinging back and forth. It's crazy. And they haven't removed that. I'm not trying to be like one of those people like that's like, yeah, I'm not trying to be too woke here, but I feel like suicide is like a little crazy. It was crazy. It was, it was crazy. crazy. Yeah. Um, Haunted Mansion was not my favorite. It was kind of cool, but like, I, I don't again. like Haunted Mansion. And I was surprised that uh, Caleb really liked it. And yeah. my, my friend Riley that was with us really liked it. They did really like it. And I was like, I, I listen, I know Haunted Mansion has a cult following, but I don't really like it. Um, but the thing I want to tell you back, uh, because we always loop, we always come back, baby, is the, the, the lore of the red pirate in Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, so, like I said, it came out in 1967. It was uh, three months after Walt died. So it was the last ride that he kind of like oversaw. Um, and he did a really interesting thing. And he did this a lot. He did it with Haunted Mansion as well as this ride where he, he paired two Imagineers that didn't necessarily get along together to make them work on it. One that's more comedic and one that's more serious. So if you go through the ride, there's these really serious parts where it's like skeletons and like dead. And then there's this crazy, like, you know, pirates and they took over the village and the ch with a pig and this chasing a girl and mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Um, but when it first, when the ride first came out, they had this um, auction oh, take yeah. place that says auction, take a wench for a bride. And this is what the original scene um, looked like. And I'll have him pull it up because I explained this to you, but you didn't get it. Oh my see God, it. that is crazy. Yeah. So it's like auction, take a wench for the bride. Um, next to the woman up on the top of the stairs, stairs with the big skirt is a man. That is like, he has a thing and he's like, he like is announcing, he's like, who, like, strut your feathers, dearie, like, show them what you got, like, who wants this girl, like, blah, blah, blah. And that is the original scene. And as you can see, it's a guy it's holding- It's because they like, they like pillaged the, the town and just like- Yeah, that's the, the whole thing. And now they're selling them. Okay. Yeah. Which is cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it wasn't until, uh, God, what year? Uh, 2018? It took them that long, which is crazy. It wasn't Holy until 2018 shit. that they updated it um, to a, an, a hen auction. So here's the picture of the update. But it's funny. Before you show the picture of the update, look at this. Look at the picture. So you've got, you've got the pirate lady in red. Uh, you've got the man holding the rope. You've got then four women, right? 
So one, two, three, four. And then with the update, you can put the update now. The changes they made is they turned some every other woman into a man. Mm -hmm. And now they're bringing stuff because they're supposed to be auctioning it off. So instead of being tied together, they're now carrying stuff. Even the goat is carrying something. Yay, um, good job. And the lady up top is like holding chickens. And so now they say like, 10 for a hen. And they can still say, strut your feathers, dearie. Like the line That's still crazy. stands. Um, that picture's really interesting. But yeah, super crazy, huh? Yeah, it is crazy. And she was telling me before we went on the ride, like that's why the women are hunched over. Or <laughs> one woman is hunched over because she was tied up before. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, And even like, it makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. See that third woman with the painting? She's crying. Oh. Because she was originally crying when she was being sold as a wench. Oh, my God. And they just, like, didn't change it. So she's still just crying. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. As well, in, like, interesting. They've improved. That's what matters. They did it. Um, but yeah, I like Pirates of the Caribbean. It's one of my favorite rides. We went on Jungle Cruise. Yeah. You were like that. Maya had a Dole Whip for the first time ever. Oh my gosh, so good. My only so good. regret was not taking you into the Tiki Room because I think you would have gotten a kick out of it. Tiki Room, Tiki Room. We went. I like Jungle Cruise. It was fun. They made a lot of stupid jokes. Some of the animatronics were really good. Yeah. Ooh. Um. Audio and... listeners, she got stung by a scorpion. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like Jungle Cruise a lot. I was sad to hear that it was originally supposed to be educational and then nobody liked it, so they yeah. made it stupid instead. I was I was dropping all these annoying facts the whole time, but yeah, Jungle Cruise was guy. supposed to be it was supposed to be educational, and then um, and then people found it boring, so they hired a comedy writer to write a bunch of jokes. Oh, but it's still cute. It's a cute. Ride. I would have liked it more if it was educational, right, guys? You really love conservation education. You've got to find a balance of entertainment yeah. and education. Yeah. Um, speak, this is a completely different segue. Should we keep talking about Disney? That just reminded me of something. Uh, no, we can segue. I also want to go back to childhood crushes. Oh. But you go okay. first. That reminded me. I think I've successfully conditioned. This is a secret for you guys and not my YouTube channel. I think I've successfully conditioned my YouTube audience to uh be educated and enjoy it really yeah because <laughs> i've slowly you know i've slowly been transitioning into like my has fun for once and i'm like doing fun things with the animals yeah i've like started sprinkling in education while i'm doing the fun things. oh i know i you skip know? past those parts okay <laughs> Shut up. um and one of the last videos i did i did uh giving the marmoset snow cones it was so dense it was like I made them snow cones, I gave it to them, but then I was like, Guys. I was so mad at the way you made those snow cones, by the way. Why? Because all you My have to syrup? do is, no, all you have to do is freeze a banana and it will shave just I'm like not, ice. I'm not putting it through that because then I have to wash the whole thing and like get in there. I don't want to. No, you just go, you run ice through it and it cleans it. Mm. Anyway. Uh, also, your syrup was bad. <laughs> it was. It was. But they liked it. Anyway, I made this video on the marmosets and I talked about the pet trade and I talked about, um, like and wildlife trafficking online coalition whatever it was just like very dense and the video did so well and nobody talked about it everyone was just like oh my god snow cones it's like my it. that was in the title that's also true <laughs> but it did great <laughs> uh, i'm not saying the video did well because of the content but i'm saying like nobody noticed no one complained upset. about it yeah. you, you you successfully hid the vegetables in the in the cake yes you made carrot cake Yes. That's a that's a win. And you I deserve to celebrate. Me. Thank you. Anyway, Orlando Bloom. Yeah, I don't get it. So I used to like wake up in the middle of the night. I remember he used to have like interviews on Entertainment Tonight. And I'd wake up and record them on a VHS tape. That's how much I loved him. Ew. I had posters of him. I actually don't get why people are so obsessed with him. I mean, they're not. Okay, anymore. wait. Also, for the record, the most recent video I, I did was Purple Martins, which is Swallow. And I just did a bunch of education and went to see all the birds. And it was a one uh -huh. out of ten. 
Hell yeah. Yeah, I actually hadn't seen that one. I haven't watched it yet. Because I tried to watch it with my friends and you said no. Well, it was because I was sitting right there. That's so cringe. You are cringe. Thanks. So Orlando Bloom. So Orlando Bloom. I loved him. Before Orlando Bloom, I think was Joel Madden, but I didn't love him as much. From Good Charlotte. I don't you know who Joel oh, Madden I do is? Know, I do know who that is. Joel Madden. But you have to look at him young. Huh? Joel Madden young. Well, Turns yeah, out, though, I'm he's a bit of a creepy of groomer. Because he, like, dated Hilary Duff when she was, like, 14, and he was, like, 22. Yeah, I just found this. My celebrity crush was a creep and why that was damaging to my younger self. Oh my gosh. Okay, a little dramatic about why it's damaging to your younger self, but I don't get it. At the time I, I remember being less. disgusted at Hillary Duff, as were many girls who had a crush on Joel Madden. She pursued him. Uh blah blah blah. I'm trying to read. Um a few years later, watching a show called Younger that featured Hillary Duff, and I remember my dislike for her. I didn't remember why. Because I had long forgotten about Joel Madden and his punk pop band. I enjoyed watching her show, Lizzie McGuire. I couldn't help but wondering why I disliked her. I stumbled upon TikTok one day, and a TikToker was exposing age gaps in celebrity relationships. Joel Madden was 24 when he was dating 16-year-old Hilary Duff. That's so illegal. Why did That's that... That's so why, gross. And they were all over... Slide? They were all over covers of magazines and everything. Is that still a thing that happens? No, right? People I don't do that think now. so. I think the closest like weird thing was like Millie Bobby Brown and like Drake. But I don't know if they dated, they but it, it was just a, it was just weird. It was just a I weird relationship. Friends. Yeah, but that's why are you being friends with a 17 year old? I don't know. Maybe they weren't like friends. Maybe they were just like, were, you know, he was like texting her and like she like said, she was like asking him for boy advice or something. How old is he? And she, she's 17 and he's. Drake and Millie Bobby Brown. Um, there's an 18 year gap. That's pretty crazy. She said, I love him. He's honestly a great friend and a great role model. You know, we text. We just texted each other the other day, and he was like, I miss you so much. And I was like, I miss you more. Oof. Yeah. That's, that doesn't sound great. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know them or their relationships. So Ow. God. Uh, um, I don't. I liked Nick Jonas, I guess, when I was a kid. I was more um, of a Joe girl. I was a JoJo. I liked Nick Jonas and... What about Jeremy Thumpter? Dude, Maya, you don't know that. anything. All the girlies love think, Jeremy Thumpter. He was from I Peter Pan. I think that Pan. we should do... Thumpter? Thopter? Thumpter. Th what is his name? This is not... Jeremy How do you spell it? Thumpter. I might have made his name up. Thurber? Peter. Pan. Thurman? Jeremy Thumpter. S U M. Thumpter. I'm going to do, yeah, I want to do a. Okay, Maya, this is what we're going to do. Next week's episode, I need you to compile a list of all of your childhood crushes and we're going to do a tier list. I don't we're gonna have that many. Those. You're going to need to make some up for the sake of content. Okay. Lie, uh, this is dummy. Peter Pan. Yeah, I know. Also, super not into it. You weren't into him? Well, no. you shouldn't be into him now, for the record. Well, how old is he now? He looks like an adult adult here. Well, I'm not looking at the pictures of him as an adult. I'm looking at the pictures of him as Peter Pan, because that's when I okay. had a crush well, on him. I, did not child have, I remember seeing this like while I was a child, child and him. I definitely was not into it. Really? Not even... Actually, you know who I like? I th This is only going to... <laughs> This is going to only hit for... Oh my gosh, this is so funny. We totally need to do a tier list of this. I had so many crushes when I'm I was I'm kind of nervous to tier list... Children? Children. Okay, yeah, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't. Um, 
but there was a i was a kid they were kids you have crushes on kids when you're a kid um it only becomes a problem if your crushes on kids don't go away uh <laughs> like to clarify but there was that that kid in peter pan that he he was one of the lost boys and he said brace yourself lads and i had such a crush on him i don't even know who he was but because all my cousins and my sister, they had a crush on Jeremy Sumter. And I was like, he's okay, but I love the kid that says, brace yourself, lads. You know who I had a huge crush on, actually? Skander Keens from Narnia. I, I, I loved him. Narnia. I loved him so much. He was the background this of my is, computer. I had a crush on um, the guy from Divergent. Huh? Four from Divergent. Dylan O'Brien so hot is that his name i don't know what's his name i'm letting you google it i don't know i haven't seen divergent four no his name is four. Oh. oh i accidentally searched divergent fan art i don't want that oh oh my god it's so annoying to type on four tope no that's not his Di name theo, theo james. james theo james yeah, that's not for me. I know, we have very different types. Yeah, that's not that's not for me, man. He looks just like Orlando Blue. I actually don't get why I don't understand. It's a They're no just for me, average dog. white dudes. <laughs> okay, maybe he's not an average white dude. He's, he's like actually very good looking, but he's just not my type. Not for you. It's not for you me. like blonde boys with elf ears. Ludwig. <laughs> Long blonde hair, Blood pale way. skin, elf ears, no legs. Leg Ludwig. <laughs> Where is Ludwig? I don't know. All right. Okay. Before we end the episode, we've got to talk about the Taylor Swift concert just a little bit. Are you converted? Are you a Swifty? We talked about it on the, the Patreon episode, but I'm here now. Here's the thing. I'm not, I would not call myself a Swifty because it's a fat title and I'm scared and I, I can't commit to that. But I definitely get it. I get why people are obsessed with her. I got it before I went to the show, but holy shit, she puts on a show. She's very talented, very powerful, very good at what she does. I was very impressed. And it was really fun. It was better than I expected it to be. Wahoo! Better than she expected. Yeah, right, it was, it was very impressive and exhausting for her. Yeah. So, respect. She does too much. She does too much, for sure. But it is what it is. And that's all you know. And thanks for it. watching. Mike, super short show. Holy moly. Goodbye. Like and subscribe. I actually really Hit want that notification bell. Like right mm -hmm. now. I would love guacamole. Dude, I want to cut off my neck. I want to tap myself. Bye. Bye.